So here's my file server, and I'm actually logged in as my mmingle sa account here. So just to give you an idea, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to my domain controller and show you that that account is in fact enabled and has full access to perform these actions. Now, when I flip back over to the file server, I have a script, as I mentioned, that will perform the simulation of the ransomware. So we're gonna run this. So as you can see, it goes through and it starts encrypting these files one at a time, going through that folder. Now, depending on how fast your Veronis uh, systems are, um, this particular response can occur anywhere within, uh, you know, two to three seconds, all the way up to, you know, maybe 60 seconds if you've got a little bit slower uh, server infrastructure. So we're just trying to showcase that this is going to fire that script and it's going to in turn lock my account uh, and disable it and effectively shut this server down. Okay, so there we go. We got the response. As you can see, the server got shut down uh, immediately. I'm also getting an email to let me know uh, because that was part of the response script that we created. So I'm getting an email to let me know of that activity occurring. It is creating that log file on the server for me, as well as you can see over here in my Active Directory, this account has now been fully locked and disabled. So this is not like somebody having their account locked after so many logins. This is a full uh, disabling of that account. So the only way that this user would be able to come back into the environment is if IT unlocks this account and re-enables it. I hope that uh, is helpful for anybody that's looking at uh, uh, Veronis as a product uh, to do threat detection and response. Uh, again, this was a very uh, eye-opening experience for many of our executives that saw this uh, during our uh, POC uh, demo.